How's it going, everyone, and welcome back to more Valda story. Yay! We are back doing this, this dance, this quest, and all that stuff. So awesome! Oh, aha! I was ready for you. Oh, I do not like that at all. Not in the slightest. Please, keep... oh, the cheeky one over there. Yeah, thanks. Goodbye. Oh shit, I forgot because... Wait, is the volume for this thing? The volume for this game is probably a lot louder than I want it to be right now. That, that's okay, I'm not gonna go out and reset it. It's just gonna... it's gonna take time to do that, and I don't want to do that, so whatever. I'll probably end up talking a little bit louder than I want, but... Actually, the volume in my headset isn't that bad. Usually, this thing's at, like, a full 100% when... I start the game up and it's actually really loud, but whatever. Chan Lapkin, or whatever. <laughs> Did the demons trap you in here? Or have you just been laying here the whole time? I figured as much. Come on, we're getting out of here. So, we got another person to join our crew, which is good, I suppose. It's a panda. A giant panda with a cannon on its back. It's pretty interesting and, and funny, but... Okay. Uh, thanks for the rough clock. Now that we have the void power, though, we can kind of... Oh, man, I forgot. Yeah. You actually have to ride the elevator down. It's really annoying that you can't just drop down because the elevator is always visible no matter when you appear on screen. Uh, no matter when, where you load on screen, the elevator always loads at the bottom, so you're always going to have to just wait for the elevator to come up and then go back down. It's pretty stupid, I think. I think it could be handled better, but that's just me. I mean, what do I know? You know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the developer of this game, so, you know, like Jon Snow, I know nothing. But, speaking of the developers of this game, I know it was probably by some freak random chance that they actually saw um, one of my automatic uh, Twitter feed thingamabobs that YouTube, well, that YouTube feeds in my Twitter when I upload a video. But it just so happens that there was a day where, I think it was a couple days ago, where I uploaded a Valda Story uh, episode. And one of the developers for Valda Story actually favorited and retweeted the video, and I thought that was really fucking awesome. Like, it's just one of those things you don't really expect, you know? I mean, like I said, I'm pretty sure it was by complete random chance. But even so, I, I appreciate it, you know? Not necessarily because, um, because of the extra attention to it, although that kind of helps as well. But, I mean, I'm just, you know, for a developer to notice anybody, you know, no matter what, even like a small a small fish in the ocean like myself, you know, that's that's something, you know, it's 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 cool. It was really nice. And then, you know, I, I tweeted at Endless Fluff, uh, you know, I and then um I think Endless Fluff, the actual like umbrella group for you know, the actual umbrella or the, the company name uh, their their Twitter had retweeted my thing out, and I was like, oh, that, that was really cool. So I tweeted at Endless Games, and I was like, oh yeah, it was really nice that um, you know, Endless Fluff, Endless Fluff Games or Endless Fluff, you know, uh, actually saw one of my videos and retweeted out. That's really cool. And I, I talked about you know, I, I guess, in, but Twitter is like 140 characters, like you know, just saying that. That was really cool, and that I'm looking forward to the next update this game is going to have, because this game hasn't been updated in probably, I would say, maybe a month or so. In that time, I played a lot of it. Um, God, I don't know, it's like, I'm probably close to like 60 hours on this game. Uh, I've been through it several times, and it's just really good. Like, I, I think two of the characters are still not unlocked yet, so... I mean, that's kind of what I'm waiting for, on top of some things that are missing in here, like that one guy, I think, at the bottom of this area in that shop that's like, oh, I'm out to lunch, but... 
something of that nature, you know, things things like that. Hopefully that gets put in the next the next major update besides bug fixes obviously. So we'll see, but I thought that was cool and then eventually one of the actual developers um, I guess because I had tweeted at the Endless Fluff uh, Twitter uh, handle or whatever, the Twitter account, saw that, retweeted that tweet, and favorited it. So, you know, all in all, it, it was it was a really nice it was a really nice experience. You know, I thought that was really cool for for them to notice that, and that was nice. You know, especially um, indie developers. I, I find that more indie developers usually end up um, obviously. Um, I guess communicating more with their community and stuff like that. They're very, they're very much more involved than than the bigger guys. I mean, at least as far as like, you know, even giving little shout outs or a little, you know, like internet high fives to, to just random people that play their game and stuff like that. So I, I thought that was really cool. That, that was really awesome of them to to do that. That was that was really cool. You know, interesting. Interesting Valda story, story, story within a story type of deal, but yeah, it was awesome, you know. What, what more can I say? Just very, very thankful that they, uh, they noticed the video and all that stuff, so that was, that was really nice. But other than that, and I believe right now we're sort of on a a mini quest now that we have the void stuff we can actually go back through some levels and get some things that we didn't get before and I don't know how relevant all this stuff is like I said even though I've, I've been through this several times it's not like I remember what every chest has and stuff like that for me it's more like oh yeah you know I kinda know the general location of which way we're supposed to go and you know we'll see what happens I generally play one way. I don't have an I don't have like an optimal like speed run strategy for this game, as it were. Not really, not really big into that. It's just you know I, I do what I do and that's that, pretty much. <gasps> Ooh. Other than that, though, no idea. I mean, we have the void power, and we do not have the divine. Yet. Although I guess I could go and get it at this point. Now that we got the other thing that that one guy needs. God damn it! Uh, really? I still got hit by that. Come on. There. I did not mean to activate that, but that's okay. It's a free heal, I guess. Not that I won't get it back. But whatever. Alright, pop up, hit lightning in the face, giving you do less damage, and the win. The win, win, win. I don't even remember where I need to use my void power, to be honest. There's several places that I can. I do not believe there's anything more for us to do in the electric temple. Or the engineer's palace, or whatever the hell. I'm pretty sure from this point forward, I'm s I'm just supposed to follow the story, and I'm pretty sure, if I remember that correctly, I should, for all intents and purposes, be going back to uh, Ishk, and I think that's what I'm going to do right now. That's the plan, anyway. I don't I don't really know. That is the plan at hand. Now that I'm pretty sure I have the stuff for the divine Kimabob. Do I have anything? I can get some things from you. I don't know if I really need it right now, but at least I know I can definitely do that. I don't even know what I'm doing on that elevator. Alright, here we go. There you are. Did you manage to get the materials for the divine key? Yeah, I got it. You mind telling me why you think the sanctuary is where the soul of Aldous can be found? Demons and angels have pretty much covered every corner of the city, I'm sure you've noticed. They can't seem to get a foothold around the area, though. Too many ferals. Where are the ferals anyway? All, all anyone ever says is stay away from them. Beats me. From watching them, all I've learned is that they have a taste for angelic and demonic flesh. 
I've seen ferals hunt angels down relentlessly, but they tend to ignore humans as long as we stay clear of their territory. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, here we go. The divine key as you needed. Hold up, you just had that in your pocket? What the hell, old man? Hee <laughs> hee, well, couldn't just hand something this important over to a stranger. I'm sure you understand. I need to be certain about your motives and your abilities. Getting through the sanctuary isn't going to be easy. If I were younger, I would have gone with you. My duty is to the people here now. I leave it up to you and your crew. If you ever see Cadran again, tell him his son turned out to be a fine goy view. Yeah. You knew who my father was this whole time and still gave me the runaround? You better hope this key works or I'm coming back for you. Ha ha ha. Good luck, kid. You're going to need it. All right. Great. So, well, I can upgrade this again. What was I... What was I doing right now? I think I was going for critical damage, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I, I should check, just in case. I'm trying to follow one tree. Yeah, I'm following critical damage. Okay, so critical damage it is, I think. Yeah, we're going with that. Okay. So, let's see, for... I really need to upgrade my armor. I need one more Lesser Feral Spear, two Steel, and... And one more Large Emerald. 